Hey guys, this is AJ from AJ's Adventures and happy Top 10 Tuesday. Um, today I will be sharing 10 facts about Annihilus. But for, first, for those of you who don't know who Annihilus is, he is a Marvel character, one of the Marvel villains. But yeah, moving on, I want to learn more about him as this video moves on. Annihilus made his, made his de debut in Fantastic Four Annual number no. 6 in 1968, created by writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby. Which, of course, we know that all Marvel characters were basically created by um, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. So, yeah, they're the beginning of a Marvel. So, the ones that the 60s fans love. Moving on, but Annihilus is the ruler of the Negative Zone a parallel dimension in the Marvel Universe. He was born and evolved in this cha chaotic and in inhospitable realm. So, pretty cool. Um, as we know, they showed the, Mar the negative zone in several comics, um, in Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, for those who watched the who watched the that show, I watched it, and that was amazing when I watched it. I loved it. Right. Yeah. Moving on again, Annihilus wields a powerful weapon known as the Cosmic Control Rod. This device grants him various abilities, including forgivity, energy projection, and the power to control his insectoid minions so that is pretty cool amazing all right due to the cosmic control rod annihilus is effectively immortal and has lived for millions of years his lifespan is linked to the rod and he becomes weaker as separated from it so that's kind of sad Con connect with him there Hopefully they show them in the MCU's Fantastic Four movie. I mean, they'll be building them to Secret Wars, but maybe in future. Like, if the, they decide to go to the Quantum Realm, the Fantastic Four does, and they see, and they fight Nihilus, but yeah. And then that could lead to, like, a, a Quantum Realm series about Nihilus, maybe Kang in some episodes, but yeah. Annihilus has a distinct insectoid appearance, with a green exoskeleton, insect-like wings, and a terrifying face mask. He resembles a humanoid insect. <laughs> that sounds terrifying to me a bit, but... Yeah. Annihilus commands a vast army of insectoid creatures called Annihilation Wave. <laughs> That's of course, it's called that. Of course it is. Yeah. This army has been a significant threat to the Marvel Universe in various storylines. So, <laughs> I mean, you can imagine that. <laughs> Can't get up. It's going to take me a lot to get over that, but yeah. Annihilus played a central role in the 2006 Marvel Comics event known as Annihilation. Of course, it was called that, but of course it was. In this storyline, he launched a devastating invasion of the positive matter universe. <laughs> pause. Pause the negative zone and the positive zone. Where's the neutral zone? <laughs> the neutral zone. Like many Marvel characters, Annihilus has appeared in various alternate universes and what-if stories, showcasing different fa facets of his character. That is very intriguing. Maybe in future seasons of what-if they could show Annihilus, who knows, but yeah. Annihilus is often associated with cosmic level threats in the Marvel Universe, putting him in conflict with powerful heroes like Silver, like the Silver Surfer, Nova, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, just came an idea. They could, maybe in the next Guardians of the Galaxy, 
you know, maybe if, whenever they reboot the MCU, they could have Nova be part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, have them fight off Annihilus and all. That's what we think. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Annihilus is a ruthless and power-hungry villain who prioritizes his own survival and expansion of his empire. He has little regard for the well-being of others and often engages in, in genocidal actions. Well, that sucks. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Right, that's it, so right now I'll do my closing and say bye. Make sure to like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye!